Good morning all. Today I'm going to be having a look at this. It's Power Oak's new 120 watt folding solar panel. Let's uh, open the box and take it out. Uh, corner protectors. And uh, the first thing I notice is that the pouch with the MC4 connectors and cable um, has a waterproof zip, so that's pretty good. There's the cable. And, uh, oh, that's quite a long cable. That looks like about two meters, I guess. Right, let's um, undo these clips. And you can still carry it even with the clips undone. Let's open it up. So it's four panels which fold up to make a 120 watt solar panel. Right, let's do some tests. Set up it looks like this. I've put it on a mat because the grass is very wet. There are four support arms at the back which are nice and broad so they're not um, in any danger of bending or collapsing they look pretty sturdy connected up to the MPPT solar input of the PS5B it's delivering 83 84 watts and connected to the MPPT input of the EB150 it's producing 93 watts of power which is interesting that's more than the PS5B is developing let's go back to that yes this unit is definitely drawing less power from the solar panel this one is 82 or 83 I think we saw 84 watts before and the EB150 once again and yeah that's about 10 watts more which is interesting hmm let's do some tests so I've made up some MC4 connectors which have these banana plugs and sockets so that I can intercept the cables so I can measure current and voltage uh, wait for the sun to come out and then we'll get a current measurement first uh, on one of the power banks and then the other one on the display now is 80 watts on the ps5b and that's with a current of just over 5 amps and the 92 watts on the eb150 is with a current of well it's not that different 5.2 amps I think 90 I think we've got a cloud going past uh oh okay you're seeing up to 98 watts on the EB150 now hovering around 95 and that's made up of 5 amps <laughs> it doesn't work when a cloud goes past 5.4 amps and 17.9 well just under 18 volts in fact there is 18 volts I think we might have had a bit of cloud edge effect there the PS5B is now only managing 72 watts we've got a very high current 5.8 amps and the voltage is quite low 14.06 14 volts on a panel that should MPPT at more like 18 volts I've just pulled the plug disconnected it and reconnected it and that's now gone up to 84 watts and yes it must have found a false maximum power point that's 5.4 amps 17.7 8 oh it's moving around isn't it but certainly nearer the 18 volts 
um, that should yield the best power from these panels. 82 watts on the PS5B now, let's just quickly go back to the EB150. 97 watts on that, made up of 18 volts almost exactly, and 5.5 and amps. So that certainly seems to be the way to extract the maximum power from this solar panel and the EB150 does it just a little bit better than the PS5B. Interesting. On the EB150 we've now got 190 watts and that's made up of 5.2 amps and 36 volts and that's because I'm in the enviable position of having two of these fold-up solar panels and I've connected them in series over there can't quite get 200 watts out of this but 190 the current won't have changed because of course they're in series but the voltage has gone up now 218 to 36 so we should be looking at about 36 volts maximum power we've got about 35 volts and 5.4 amps. Let's switch it over now to the PS5B, which can also take uh, 72 cells in series. Or maybe it can't, certainly with this amount of power. Uh, it's now showing an E16 on the MPPT input. So yeah, maybe that one can't take two of these in series. I wonder if it could take two in parallel. I wonder where my paralleling connectors are. Well it works but I've just remembered that the PS5B only pulls a maximum uh, wattage of 120 watts on its MPPT solar input so it's got the voltage rather high at 20 volts and the current is 6.9 amps. So yes it's drawing the most it can but it's not maximizing the available power from these two 120 watt solar panels. And it looks like the EB150 makes better use of these solar panels at 170 watts when they're in series than as they are now in parallel. There's my parallel connection. So certainly one of these panels would make a good um, accessory for the PS5B. You can certainly use two of them on the EB150 but you're better off putting them in series than in parallel. So that was a test of uh, Power Oak's new SP120 120 watt folding solar panel. I think we got close to 100 watts, 90 something wasn't it, into the EB150. A very handy addition to these lithium power banks. They certainly charge faster on solar than they do from their mains power packs. Yes, I think they both do, don't they? Cheerio.